Hey guys, welcome. My name is George Nasser. What I'm going to go over today is how to create something from bitmap. That means I'm going to grab any picture and I'm going to create a relief so you can actually send it to milling. And I'm going to show you how to create a toolpath and so forth. So um, stick around and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any questions, please don't forget to subscribe and leave a lot of comments. All right, we're going to begin. So we're going to go to actual models and we're going to go to flat and we'll create three axis flat right here. Okay, so we're going to name this, we're going to call this uh, picture, okay, because I'm going to grab something, the, the sizes, it depends on the size of the picture, so if you're trying to create a model more than 50 millimeter, okay, or, is, or if you want to do it in inches, you can as well, so 50 page here is pretty good size, the pixels, you can make it better for resolution wise, you can do 50, don't go higher than that, it will take forever to render, and accept it. I don't want to update it right now because these are the old styles we worked on. Okay, so we're going to shut this guy, which is it's in the, usually it's in the assembly. So we're going to start with the flat model, but first we're going to go actually on the internet. Okay, so let's go to Google. And I'm going to grab something, uh, let's say uh, Celtic, right? So Celtic design. And what I when I normally search for something like this, I like to search for images. And I always like to grab something, I would search like vectors. So like these here, you want to stay away from. You want something like this. This is beautiful. Anything that's black and white, you might get away with a solid color. So if you want to create something like this, you can create it very quickly. All you're going to do is just raise this. So, but if I put in here um, vector, you could actually get all the black and white. So that way, it's much easier to, to go at. So if you want to create something like this really fast, you don't have to draw it. You could just pick it up. So let's example. Uh, let's take something. It's not going to take a lot of time to draw, but okay. Let's take this dragon. Okay. If you notice, this is nice and clean. I'm going to right-click on it and I'm going to save the image. Okay. Save image as. I'm going to throw it on my desktop. Okay. And I'm going to save it. Okay. You could shut this down. We're going to open our cam back up, and we're going to go to this section right here. It says bitmap. You can see the layers. So you're going to go down here. You're going to select the open. And we're going to bring that dragon, or you could bring anything that I previously created, okay? So let's bring this in. So you can see here, it's very simple. Now all we have to do is have the picture. And you notice we have no relief. So so once we bring that picture in, it's very important. So this particular tool is very powerful right here. It says bitmap to vector. So bitmap to vector, that means it's going to create a vector around this. All we have to do is raise the relief. So I'm going to raise it here. And you want to reduce the actual colors because it has no colors. You want to go down to two, no lower than that. It doesn't allow you anyway. And all you do is just say apply, and you're going to create. Okay. So now what it did is created an actual vector for us. You can see it, it's right here. So instead of going around most programs, you would have to sit there and draw every single angle. That will take you forever. Okay. And I, I don't want to do that. That's too much work. Okay. So that's it. So I'm going to get rid of I could get rid of this picture here. I don't even need it anymore. And I want to bring this back here and I'm going to press F9. We could press T for sizing. You could do it up here. You could do it per, by percent. You could do it by millimeter. So if I grab here and um, and I open it up, I could, you know, shape it any way I wish. Okay. And any angle, I could rotate it. You could, this green button here will rotate it for me. Okay. And this particular way, you could bring it down. Okay, press F9 to center. So once this is all done, now we're going to select the vector, F12 to raise it. So we're going to go to 3D so we can see it in, you know, live. So we're going to press 1. You can see how it created this already. And we could raise it. We could just change the angles of it. Okay, we're going to apply. And that's it. And cancel. Okay. So now we already have our dragon already created. That's ready for milling. It's all done. We can see... It took seconds. Maybe most programs you would have to draw every single angle, every single vector, every single curve. That would take forever. So all you do, if you want to send this to SDL, you can. All you do is just go to here and you add, create a triangle mesh. And you could close it with the back relief and create. And there's your thing. So right here, we added to the project. Now we have it inside the project. So, so not only you have the relief, now you have the actual uh, the 3D model, which is an STL file. So let's shut some of these off because we don't need these guys here. So we only want to keep just that. 
okay so let's get rid of these guys only keep the, the picture right so we're gonna keep this guy so that's ready for this is an SDL file you can see it closed in the back relief it's nice and clean okay and if you want to see just the relief you shut this now you have the relief because this is for Millie and SDL it's sent for 3d printing okay now if you want to add the actual bail to it you can you want to add circles to it you can you can do anything you want to that actual dragon so let's say we're gonna add an actual circle here we go on the outside okay we could offset it we could go inward outward you go to this tool offset vector we could go inward one millimeter two millimeter we could go outward so I'm gonna go inward okay so let's do I did two of them so let's delete this one so now we have two so I select both of them by holding the shift key down doesn't matter which is first right click and group them I like to group everything so F12 so that will raise it let's look at it in 3d so I'm gonna raise it up and we're gonna give it a height right so let's go here one so make sure that's selected okay so let's say here escape it and F12 apply and cancel all right something's wrong here let's let's try it again okay f12 there you go there you go all right so now there's the the relief apply and cancel so let's see because we're not in the relief that's why okay so you can see now this is our relief now we have a pendant because we didn't add it to the project so so just always make sure you are in the actual relief area okay so now all we do is just add a bail, but you notice the dragon is not attached. So I'm going to stick a background to the actual dragon. So I'm going to take just the, this end of Victor, I just create another one here, right in the center here. All right, right here. And I'm going to raise this. And the, the important part here, the important part is you want to, you want to merge high, right? So I'm only going to go up one millimeter because, so one millimeter. So it stays below the actual dragon. So you can see it here. So the dragon's sitting on the surface. So you don't have to go one millimeter, do 0.50, so that will lower it, so you'll have the dragon, or we could raise the dragon higher. Okay, so apply and cancel. So there's the dragon. So we could center this guy here. You can look at it from all views, okay. Now we're going to add a bail to it. All right, so let's add a bail right here. So we're going to go one here, let's add a circle, and F12. I always measure here, you can look in the bottom corner, you'll see on this side, look at this corner right here, it tells you the actual height of the Z, one and a half. So I can't, I don't want to go above that, okay? So if I go F12, so I want to do height 1.25 and I raise it here a little bit, you can look at it. So now you can see it's applied to it. So let's uh, do it again, make sure it's selected. Apply and cancel. So there's, we're going to punch it in the center. You could do it actually, you could work in it in 3D actually if you want. And we Z we zero this one out. So now we shut these. And you can see the actual pendant. It's a beautiful pendant, right? So so now once we here, but I wanna I don't like it plain because it's gonna be very difficult to polish behind it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a little texture here. So that's why we're gonna use the colors. Okay. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use colors. So I'm gonna select here. So make sure you go, you uncheck it, and you see these colors here, I'm going to select any color, it doesn't matter. You could go to any color you like. So if I go to, um, the, let me see this one here, it's called Flood Fill. And so you don't want this one, let's go to Bitmap. And right here, Flood Fill here. Uh, so, okay, let's try one of these guys, going to do it for us, so let's that's too much and it's bitmap to vector so it should be bitmap okay so we're gonna select this vector here we're gonna go back to bitmap and it's a flood fill vector so this one here so make sure you always you want to select the actual dragon and give that dragon a different color again it, the color doesn't matter so again you got to go to bitmap and flood fill so this is a different color so 
when I texture, I only want to texture the green area, not the red areas. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to texture the background. So we're going to go to this tool here. Not, okay, uh, okay, this one here. It says texture relief. All right, so it's very important you select color and make sure the green, you can select it from here. You don't want the red. If you notice up here, I was changing color. I want the green. Okay, so you have different options to, to create different things. And this is the height or the size of the actual texture. You don't want it too big and too small. So I usually like to do point, um, two five millimeter and the Z height point 20 because you cannot go above that. You'll cover the dragon. So apply. You can see it has a nice texture. Okay, and close it. So now you can see I only textured behind the dragon. Okay, and that's pretty much it. And you're all set. So now all you do is just send it to the actual uh, milling machine, and um, you'll have an absolutely gorgeous pen. And now, if you want to change the colors to show the customers in different ways, we're going to do it this way. So we're going to go to this light here. Okay, now you. Right now it's selected white. Let's let's select. You can select different different colors. You can apply it. So now you have it shows up much nicer in gold, right? But you can make these bigger. So the higher you go, the more the texture you'll see. And if you want to create the change the background or the reflection of the actual piece, you can. This is the background. Select the color. I would go here, and I would do. I like. I always like to do black, and that way you could see the actual dragon behind it. How nice it looks. So pretty much this is it. Next time I'll work on something that's a little bit more intricate. But as far as RCAM, is, this is the most powerful program probably you could find as, as far as uh, creating vector uh, to bitmap and so forth. So you can take any picture and create anything you want. And you could actually save this particular uh, relief. So let's, let's take this uh, example, this relief here. If I go to this section here, I could actually grab it. And I could drop it in here. So let's, uh, we're in the, uh, here it is right here. So front relief. And you can see, I could save it for later. So this drag in here. So you go under front relief, you go to relief layer, you grab it and you drag it in here. So that means you could save it for, for later. So let's drop another one here. And you could right click on it and rename it. So you could call this dragon. Okay. Now if I want to do it again. All I do is grab this guy. I could put it anywhere I want, and I could actually size it. Okay, and you can see it, it's right here. All right, and then all you do is just paste it from here. All right, so paste it, and now you have another layer. All right, you could do bring in as many as you want. You don't have to redraw the whole thing. Once you draw it once, and pretty much you're in control. You could bring anything from from that actual library. Which is, I'll probably do a whole tutorial on that so you get an idea how it works and so forth. Okay? And um, you want to stay within the page. But you can see how it puts everything here for you under these guys. So under layers, the clip art, see it here? That. So there's the bitmap. Save all these. These are all the actual layers you could control them here from selecting from this area here okay so I hope you enjoy this I'm gonna if you have any questions again please don't forget to subscribe and um, we'll talk very soon I hope you enjoyed thank you so much